The Helinox Chair Zero has been the lightest and most comfortable backpacking chair on the market for years, but Helinox recently added a new model to the Chair Zero lineup called the Highback. Today we're gonna to look at all the additional features that the Highback has compared to the Chair Zero, whether those additional features makes the Highback more comfortable, and whether it's worth the extra cost and weight. The original Chair Zero costs $130, whereas the Highback costs $170. So you're paying quite a bit of a premium for the high back model. You're also gonna be carrying a little bit more weight. The high back weighs 690 grams, whereas the original weighs 510 grams. When they're both packed up, the high back is quite a bit bulkier compared to the original as well. I think it's probably about 50% bulkier, and that's due just to the way the poles all fold up and then how the fabric wraps around it. The assembled size of the two chairs is actually a really interesting difference. The original is obviously shorter, it's 25 inches tall, whereas the high back is 7.5 inches taller at 32.5 inches. Chair height is also a big difference. A lot of people are hoping that the high back was gonna be a little bit higher because the Chair Zero original can sometimes be a little bit hard to stand out of because it's so low to the ground. And if you look at the specs on Helinox website, the high back is advertised as being 7.5 inches off the ground. But as you can see, when you put the two chairs next to each other, the original is actually a little bit lower. The biggest difference that I found with the dimensions of the chair that influences how comfortable they are has to do with their width. So the advertised width of the Chair Zero original is 20.5 inches, where for the high back, it's 19.5 inches. But when you line them up side by side, the original is probably about two inches wider at the bottom here compared to the high back. But where the dimensions really start to differ is as you move up the back of the chair, the Chair Zero Originals keeps its width right up to where the shoulders are, whereas the high back narrows off as it goes up to the headrest here. And those differences in back dimensions really affect how comfortable the chairs are when you're sitting them. But we'll talk about that a little bit later. Right now we wanna talk about construction, durability, and weight capacity. Both chairs use a DAC aluminum alloy for the poles that give the chair structure. And this DAC aluminum alloy is proprietary to Helinox. You're not gonna see it in any other chairs. And Helinox advertises that the alloy used in their poles is more resistant towards stress cracking compared to other poles that are out there. The seats are made with 100 denier polyester that are reinforced with Kevlar. So all these white lines are Kevlar reinforcements. And then the hubs are made with nylon 66, which is a fiber reinforced nylon. The weight capacity for both chairs is advertised at 265 pounds. I almost wonder if that's just because they haven't fully tested out the high back yet. If you look at the legs of the high back and the hub, the legs that are on the bottom here are thicker than on the original. And then the hub is a little bit more beefy and robust. So I think 265 pounds is probably on the low end for the high back. You can probably get away with a little bit more weight, but Helinox is just hedging their bets until they're able to fully test out the high back. Stability is gonna be different between these two chairs as well, partly because the high back does have this higher back, but also because of the distance between the legs on the two chairs at the base. For the high back, the legs are 13 inches apart, whereas for the Chair Zero original, they're 10.5 inches apart. So because of that, you're gonna have a little bit more stability on the high back when you're sitting down and really kind of leaning back. You can lean back a lot more without feeling like you're gonna tip backwards. Whereas with the original, as you sit in it and really kind of lean back, you might start hitting that tipping point a little bit earlier. Now let's get into the most important aspect of a backpacking chair and that's comfort. That's the reason why we're all carrying the extra weight on a backpacking trip is to be comfortable and put our legs up at the end of a long day. And there is a big difference between the high back and the original. Starting off with the fact that the high back does have a higher back here, that's in order to provide more support for your back and your shoulders. And I find that the high back does do that. It also sits you up a little bit straighter compared to the original. The original is a little bit more of a loungy chair and that's because the back just leans a little bit more backwards and it doesn't provide the same kind of support for your back. If you like to lounge, the original is gonna be a great option. You can sit up a little bit more straight in it, but it doesn't provide the back support that the high back does. Because the high back does have that straighter back, you're not able to lounge in that one quite as easily. So you're gonna to have to consider that when comparing the two chairs. If you have broader shoulders or a wider back, the Chair Zero original might be a little bit more comfortable because it does have a wider top to it. Where the shoulders kind of hit the back, it's 20 inches wide on the original, whereas on the high back, it narrows off to 15 inches at the top here. And when you're sitting in the chair, it can sometimes feel like you're being a little bit sandwiched in, especially throughout the shoulders as it narrows up. But that may change over time. I do know that with the original, the material kind of stretched out and conformed my body a little bit more. That may be the case with the high back over time. So which chair is most comfortable? It's gonna depend on two different factors. First of all, your body shape. If you're a little bit broader, 
then the original is gonna be the better option just because it has that wider bottom to it as well as stays wide throughout the shoulders, whereas the high back has that narrower bottom and then narrows quite a bit towards the shoulders as well. You're just gonna feel a little bit more squished in with the high back. The other factor is gonna be how you like to sit when you're at camp. If you like to sit a little bit more upright and have back support while you're sitting upright, then the high back's gonna be a better option compared to the original where it's a bit more of a lounging chair. For me, it's actually a wash. I find both chairs very comfortable and it'll probably depend on the trip, whether I bring the high back or the original. We'll have to see over time which one I seem to be leaning to a little bit more. Right now, I'm thinking it's probably gonna be the original just because of that weight savings. If you wanna see my full ultra comfort gear list, go check out that video right up there. I include things like the Chair Zero and many other items in order to be as comfortable as possible when out on backpacking trips.